let's talk about power supply issues because more business associations are lamenting the impact of the current power outages. The latest to do so is the Ghana Chamber of Young Entrepreneurs. According to its CEO, Sheriff Gali, many small and medium businesses face the risk of downsizing or folding up if the situation continues. He spoke to my colleague Isaac Atase Nyako on the sidelines of the launch of the YEX Spaces, a co-working space created by the Chamber. The power outages, mm. how is that affecting you? <laughs> no, sorry. This, we, uh, um, I don't know where to start, but to be honest with you, these are all the small things that happen and businesses collapse. Today we had the launch of the Young Entrepreneurs Co-working Spaces. If not for fossil fuel and a generator, we wouldn't be able to do the program because all of a sudden electricity went off. So when there's power outages, imagine a young person who runs a barbering shop, a young person who runs um, um, a coal store. How would they operate? I have a young person that called me from Tamale that there was a, something, I don't know whether it was an issue in their area, but the lights went off for like three days over tons of fish got spoiled. And nobody is going to support this person. Nobody is supporting. ECG will never own up and say that, okay, we, we, we cost it and we want to get you back on your feet. So the person have to pay the loans they have taken. Where are they going to get the money to pay? All the fish went, got, got, went bad and he has to throw them away. So power outage, dollar rising against our city, four prices, um, inflation, hikes in product and services. Forget it. We are living in very hard times. And... I will not sit here on your television to tell any young person that you um, should be so happy and be jubilating, but we shouldn't lose hope. And we should all come together to support whatever we can do within our corner. I would always appreciate and preach the fact that let us be producing more than we consume.